someone's calling and I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> Let's just get this on um, treasure real quick. Stop, stop, you baka! 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 Why don't you stop? Why you no stop? Baka! Baka! The steam controls. Bad mechanics. Baka! normally don't restart the sequence until you, you know, they normally restart the sequence when you change, you know, times or whatever it's called. Here they just keep going, idiot. That's, that loses points for this remake. Yeah, bright and sunny here. Oh, uh, now I can do that. Yeah, that guy is there. I guess I'd do um, that letter thing three times then. I'm not gonna... I think the treasure that I'm really looking for could be here. You know the treasure chart we got from the teacher that was supposed to be the hero's charm, but it wasn't. It may be here. Well, since we're at this, uh, platform. Roll along, one, 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 one. Hate these new controls. Ugh, no cannons. This might be the one I'm thinking of that I really like. Yeah, it is. Behold! The exclusive, the exclusive, semi-forgotten, fail, white whiz robes. They are like the red book of blend. They're pirate sailor themed. This is the only place you can find white whiz robes. And they're not even mentioned in the trophy, and they're not even listed in the trophy section of the pentagraph side quest. So these, so these enemies are very unique. Oh. Let's go a lot of chests off them, that's for sure. Oh, hello. Ball. Okay, yeah. Uh. Oh, so we finally get a golden feather. We're gonna need to get more of the grappling hook whenever we can. Uh, we had plenty of chances we were in the Forbidden Woods, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm. 
going back in Forbidden Woods. Okay, that's on the Shark Island. Yeah, like, yeah, the good part about not being knocked out is, well, they can't intervene from your trying to salvage. You don't want to kill enemies. No, oh, it was just a silver ruby. What a waste. That's... this is the right this is the place I was thinking of. Okay, what's really fun about these battleships? They fucking kill each other. That's... that's hilarious. I wanted to use a grappling hook to grab me some gold feathers on the bird, but you can't use grappling hook normally here. Time. Sure as sugar was. This isn't the island I was thinking of, I think. The island I was thinking of could be by Forest Haven. I think it's somewhere along the Eastern Sea. Um, there's also some we can get around this region. There's a mission that we can't do yet here, but there's something else we can get. Flight control platform. It's a kind of a unique place. Yeah, he's hinting the secret areas on Dragon Roost that have treasure. There's, there's a submarine here. That island over there, that, that little little area over there might be what I'm thinking of, because it looks the same as it was on the map. Yeah. <laughs> this place is dark. Let's get some lights going, why don't we? Oh, is this the only defense? Ha!
Is that your only other defense? Well, I guess it was. What? Coward! Ha! I laugh. So this will tell you where the platforms are located. It tells you if it's a two set, a one set, or a three set. There's only two two sets. They're mostly in ones. There's three threes and two twos. But a lot of ones. <laughs> That's an interesting pattern to notice. This island I'm thinking of. Starbell Archipelago. Doesn't look like it. I don't even know which one I'm looking for anymore. I oh, he's hinting that there's gonna be a ghost ship here. As well, go get Panic Fountain. Oh. Hey, kind of think of it. Now that we're now we're close to that I, that island, we can do something else. Care for, especially in that one, you gotta use Deku Leaf. Now it's storming all of a sudden. Fairy Island. Haha, <laughs> it's not the West, it's the Vorn. Yeah, yeah, Golden Feathers. Yeah, he's telling you who wants the um, Gold Feathers. Oh, it can't be on here yet till I get a certain new ability. Since we're on this aisle, there is something of interest we want to collect. Which wires our bow? Bird. 
die. Bad birdie. Bad controls. Just like a Karina. Controls are worse than ever. I'm not ever gonna get this item because of these bad controls. Turns out we need the grappling hook. Now the grappling hook handles that are designed like that are the ones we incline to. I mean we incline to all of them, but there's ones that are significant to climb to. Here's what you would need at least three highway pairs for. For this mission, you will be controlling a seagull. Hit the three switches around these mountains. The cargo rocks will be aiming to stop you. However, if you sacrifice one seagull, You'll be able to lure the other Cargrex. You'll be able to lure the Cargrex to Link and kill them. Then you just send another Seagull, and problem solved. Yeah, the top one. You could get these with arrows if your aim is good enough. But the top one, you really can't shoot. You need the seagull. Perfect! Ah, oh, that's taken care of. Huh, where are they flying to now? Uh-oh. Oh no, they knew I was responsible! <laughs> Just come flying at you because they, they know you did it. So here's another one of these things from the Tower of the Gods, and I'll be able to explain it a lot sooner. There's the Triforce symbol. Behold, our very first... Triforce chart! These are a main collectible. There's eight of them. We need them all. We found one. They are hidden within these crests. And we gotta play the ones requiring to activate them. Except that particular one, Tower of the Gods, was, um, a treasure, a regular treasure chart. Don't know why that one was so special, but whatever. I mean, it doesn't even help to unveil another one. Oh, we're already out of bait. Found more islands than I expected. Okay, there's... There's Mermy. Bird's Peak Rock. Now 
And he's telling you about them again. I guess he does that on every island these things are on. Well, I think we wasted enough time with these detours. We're going to the Forsaken Fortress. Now, one thing to just warp on this spot and problem solved. No, that is a trap. You want to warp one block over to Tingle Island. Which you haven't really activated yet. And now that we're on said Tingle Island, we can take care of some real quick. Tingle says you will need help with charts. Go to see him. We need help with the chart, because we can't understand this Triforce chart. Oh, here's where he placed the Tingle statues that you get from the Tingle chests. Tingle, Tingle, Tingle. So this is Tingle Tower, and if you're wondering what he does here, he runs a little slave house. He has two little Tingle slaves. Pushing his big ol' head, for whatever reason. It's cause it makes him look awesome. Here's... where Tingle... comes in handy. There's a major role in this game. He translates to Triforce charts. Now you can find a piece of the Triforce. And they act just like regular treasure charts. You just find a beacon of light shining out of, you know, wherever it will be located in the ocean. And there's actually one around this region we can go get... Whoopsie. We can go get two. Let's let's sail over here first. Hey, we're, we're actually... Now, now that we're by the Rockspire Island, we can buy one of the special items from the Mast Beetle. Maybe we'll do Rockspire Island itself, I don't know. Storm don't help. I love the storm every now and then, though. Okay, there he is. This um, Beale ship moves um, faster than any other one. It's because he's special. But now our ship's part goes away. Ta <laughs> He's acting like. Empty bottle, MSRP. And we had just enough to buy it. Bye. So yeah, he sells main collectibles. So they don't sell um, bait. Yeah, we can't get that guy now. Cause... Well, let me know, there's a Forsaken Fortress right there in the distance. <laughs> we can go there if you want. We will. So I'm going to screw that island. Hey, rupees. Yeah, 57 rupees. Better make some more. I love how big the waves get. Like, rum, rum. You know? It's so beautiful. That's life to the ocean. Great. Uh oh. What's the bomb traps? But they're very poorly done in this version. <laughs> okay, I want to tell you something interesting. If you came here during the night, during the day, they would actually force nighttime to kind of like pop down like it did on SpongeBob. It's really funny. 
because nighttime is a better time to do this. And that little sailor dude with the telescope actually appears on one of these ships that has a little... Now, since we have good sail, we can just go look for it. So, since our last visit, the fortress's defenses have weakened. I should say strengthened, but it's not it's a lot easier than before. They have cannons now. So that, there he is. Yeah, this is the most interesting place for him to appear, just cuz. Ho ho! The frightening! That's it. Anyway, they got cannons now, but they don't use their, you know, shirt lights, or I mean, their guards anymore, and throw me in prison. They have one method of doing that, however, I'm, I'm gonna get that later. And here's the front door. <laughs> and Gandorf is kind enough to let you in himself. I love how that happened. Yeah, has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. He let you in himself. But you have the master sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Next time, we give Gandorf peace of our mind. <laughs>